All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I've been changing my Sunday upload schedule just a bit, just to try and upload more for you guys. I know a lot of you love these videos, so I'm super excited to bring you another episode because I know the series brings a lot of new viewers to my channel. If you don't know, my dad has been a chef for over 40 years, been on a bunch of different TV shows, Iron Chef, Top Chef Masters. Basically in the series, I have him turn fast food gourmet. So this episode, I have Domino's, which I think is the most popular pizza chain in the world. So I ordered three pizzas from Domino's, one for him just to try, and then two others. For him to use basically i put everything on them like i got pepperoni and bacon and sausage i think and then i pretty much got every vegetable they had except for pineapple well pineapple is not a vegetable but so yeah you're gonna see what he does with it and let's carry on with the video so let's go so do you want to check out the pizza yeah oh, whoa. so i pretty much got you everything you can get on the pizza just so you have stuff to work with well i can see bacon pepperoni banana peppers you got cheese obviously there's some dipping sauces as well over there it says uh, honey flavored barbecue you know the word flavor it means it's not really natural eh? it's all flavored do i sound negative every time i open something like that well no actually it's not negative it's just knowledge right something i know let's smell this uh Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Definitely, this had like a lot of sugar. I'm not sure it's actually honey. I don't, I don't know what is the percentage of honey in there. What is this? Garlic flavored. Everything is flavored. Can they just say garlic? Can they just say honey barbecue? I don't think I'm gonna use this. I think I'm gonna use barbecue. Yeah, I have to try a pizza. Eh? Wow, this is a, a very thick dough. I got you two extra pizzas just. So wow, that's a lot of one. topping. Did you order a lot of topping for me? Sometimes, you know, pizza have too many toppings, they don't taste good. What do you think? Domino's pizza? There's a ball game, there's a hockey game, nobody wants to cook. Just order and just eat. Give me some potato chips, maybe a little bit of this garlic flavor, flavor dips. Not bad. And then maybe order Caesar salad just for the night, right? If you ask me to eat this like a few times a week, I have a problem with that. Once in a blue, yeah, I can do it, sure. Once in a blue what? Eating, ordering something like that, I can, I can eat that. What's a blue? Once in the blue. Yeah, what is a blue? It could be once in the gray. Once in a blue moon. Oh, is that what's supposed to be blue yeah. moon? <laughs> you see, so there are certain English, I actually keep saying I know the meaning, but I don't know exactly how, what that means. So I do need an English, English, <laughs> English lesson. Really want to transform into something a little more delicate, you know? So I got two more of these bigger pizzas. So these are the ones you can work with. This is just the try. Well, it has all the topping in here. Well, I got cheddar cheese. And this one, it has tomato, bacon. Are they exactly the same thing? Yeah, same thing. Oh yeah, one thin crust. Oh, I gotcha. Crust. I gotcha. Okay. Let me think. I know what to do. I think I'm going to use, yeah, I'm going to use a thick one outside. I'm going to stack them and we go into the kitchen now. First step, I'm going to make some, uh, call it the food glue. This is my food glue. What do you mean food glue? Like I'm gluing something with this. So step two, slide it out, recycle. Mm -hmm. The recycling bin? Is it? I have to prepare a surround wrap. All these things, I'm just going to roll it and roll it and squeeze it in and squeeze it in and squeeze it in and roll it. Oh, it's actually staying together. In order to make a nice roll, now we have to use a little bit of techniques here. So we're just gonna throw this in the oven and we're done? Gourmet? <laughs> yeah, well, we see. Now, this is another cooking technique. That's where the European or any culture when they make a roulade, which is the French way to say a roll, and that's how you actually squeeze everything in. Okay, mm -hmm. now we keep this on the side, not doing anything with it. Some pizza dough. You see the problem, I have rest the dough in order to roll it out. So meanwhile, I need to rest this dough. But well, fuck it, I'm gonna roll it out. I have a feeling one of these days somebody's going to send me a rolling pin for Christmas present. You chef for 40 years and you don't have a rolling pin. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know why. Seldom cook at home. Chef have the worst kitchen tool at home, but they have the best one in their own professional kitchen. I think I'm just going to freeze this a little bit. Why? Wow, well, don't get the shape a little bit. Some of my food glue in. Food glue. 
Mm, holding quite nicely. I think it's safer roll a few times. So we're re-rolling the rolled pizza? Yes. Pizza wrapping pizza. I do like that. Do a hot pan. Oh, what's that? Hmm? What are you doing? Put some uh, spray in there. Now, lay it down, you know, make sure nicely covered. Give a little bit of egg yolk wash. Egg yolk, egg wash, egg yolk. Stir, stir, stir. Brush it up. Mm -hmm. What does this do? Well, give a nice golden color. Sorry. It goes in the oven, 400, boom. You have Quellix, Quellix in. So I get it ready. On the side, almost half an hour. Almost. What are you doing right now? I'm just going to make a burger patty. Burger down. Let it cook. Get a barbecue sauce ready. Now I'm going to use a little bit of uh, honey flavored barbecue sauce glaze. Yeah, much better. Cheese. Put it on the top. Oh, look at that. That's the way I want it. So essentially, this is like the pizza calzone. Really? You get the idea? What if it fails? We call it the failed pizza calzone. <laughs> Here comes pizza calzone. Who would never thought about that? I'm gonna let it rest a bit. You know who Byron is? Byron? Byron! President Byron. Who's that? President. Of who? US. Biden. Checking my English lesson again. Byron! Ooh. Ooh. Perfect spiral and everything. Mm, everything is perfectly cooked too. Ooh. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm putting the glazed barbecue burger, cheddar cheese, another one I'll be doing. I have avocado. Guacamole, avocado guacamole. I have burrata. Yeah, wow, look at that. A couple of quail eggs, one quail egg on the top. I'm gonna to put a little more yolk kavi on the top. Mm. Final touches, a little bit of uh, chopped chive, a little touches right in the corner. Fresh day. Now. Try this now. Which one should we try first? I think we should try brother first. Yeah. But a little bit of every, yeah, as much at all. The so yolk. Get some of everything. Mm -hmm. Crispy, huh? Don't cut the table. First bite. That was really good. To be honest, when he was making it, I didn't think it was gonna taste that good, but it's really good. What? You were thinking that already? Yeah. Oh my god. You're doubting me, son. That's not a good sign. What? You're doubting me. What does that mean? Is that a word? Doubt. Doubt. Yeah. Mmm. I think it really sums it up with the avocado. Mm -hmm. Lots of flavor. Try the burger one. Mm -hmm. Burger pizza. I feel like the barbecue sauce actually completes it. Because I glaze it with the fat. I would say this one, just a bit over this one. Mm -hmm. They're both good. really good. So what would you give this out of 10? Honestly, I, was... I feel like this is one of your best tasting ones. I'm still eating it. I really feel that uh, this one, I think this one, I would say I would give it the eight and a half. Mm -hmm. And this is definitely a 10 out of 10. If I have to make this again, I would probably make the patty a little thinner. But just the, the dough and the pizza is so crispy. Mm. Um, I'm amazed still. So. Mm -hmm. I would give this one 10 as well, and same as you. Eight and a half, right? You want to do the outro? Mm -hmm. Everyone said you, you mastered the outro now. <laughs> if you like this video, if you like my cooking, well, please subscribe and press the button, the like button. I will right, see you guys.